Maya Mitchell, I feel like we're we've got very similar backgrounds. This is a little bit weird. Are you in my house? Yeah, what? <laughs> I'm I'm not. I'm in Montenegro, but it could be. <laughs> <laughs> hey, um, man, I have seen the first two episodes of this show and you are absolutely brilliant. This just looked like so much fun. Do you think because it was an Aussie production, it's in your home country, you were welcoming people to your town, do you think that's why it was? It just seemed like so much fun on set? You know, I think it starts with the scripts. Like I, I, I read the scripts and I just knew it would be so fun and such a big adventure. Um, all the characters are so amazing, you know, from the, you know, from Jack Dawkins, the, the bigger characters to all the little side characters. And they managed to cast the most insane Aussie actors in these little roles and everyone's just brilliant. And it just like, it really did jump off the page from the start. Um, of course, it being in Australia was a massive draw card for me um, I've been desperate to work at home um, so to be able to come back to something this kind of exciting was um, a dream um, and also the character Lady Bell like she's so fun and um, I just th thought she would be such a fun challenge she's so feisty and she's really not of that time and I, I just thought it was fun to see a period show but with such a kind of modern sensibility it's just it's really adventurous and also to see kind of the Australian landscape with this kind of period aspect to it like we really haven't seen that very much either and like you know the bright blue skies and then just yeah. like a thousand layers of clothes and just sweaty humans which is of course what it would have been back then but um <laughs> no everything everything about it was just like so attractive and um and we did we had the most fun it was there wasn't a day where you weren't just reminded of how special it was because of the costumes and the sets and the locations and the cars, it was like, check, check, check. Everything was, it, it was, it was a real, it was a, it was a big adventure. So good. Now you said in an interview a while ago, so if you don't remember, it's totally fine, but you said that you were a big Jane Austen fan and that you love, you know, like you would love to do something like that. Is this close? Are you like almost at your like dream gig? <laughs> It, yes <laughs> and I was almost there was a moment when I was on set where I was like what are we gonna do now <laughs> we better get a second season because this yeah. is it. I would do this show forever um totally yeah I I my criteria for the next job my like dream job that I'd kind of put out there um was for a period drama in Australia with a fantastic cast and great scripts. And I just, it just happened. I'm the so universe is listening to you, my friend. <laughs> it's listening. I need to take advantage. Um, yeah, no, it definitely feels like that. Um, it was, it was like one of those jobs that's like, yeah, this is, this is it. This is kind of as good as it gets. It was just the best so time. Good. Now um, yeah. you do play uh, Lady Bell Fox, who is the daughter of the governor. And she's also, she also wants to be the first female surgeon. I did research who the first female surgeon, you know, was. And, um, you know, there was sort of like one in Australia and one in the United States. But mm -hmm. I'm very curious as to like who you based the character on. And was there someone from your real life that you drew from? Because I personally could see a lot of women that I know in the way that you play this character. And I'm, I'm just curious to know who it was that you drew inspiration from. Yeah, I think what's interesting about Belle is that she isn't really of that time. Um, you know, she has a massive amount of privilege, which kind of allows her to be quite brave and quite outspoken and kind of stick her neck out a little bit more than um, other people in other classes. But uh, there were, yeah, there was, a, it was a kind of a crash course in, you know, history of medicine. Um, we looked at a lot of women who were um, paving the way for women uh, in medicine at that time. Um, a lot of it had to be in secret. A lot of corners were cut. Um, mm. There was a lot of men taking credit for women's work and them kind of working in the shadows. Um, we looked at people like um, Margaret Ann Buckley, who uh, in the 19th century had to pose as uh, a man in order to uh, work as a surgeon. And uh, she kind of was like this war hero and really revolutionized. But she performed the first successful cesarean 
Um, and that's something we maybe, you know, tap into. So we were able to use actually surgeries that were happening around that time as a kind of springboard for surgeries that you'll mm. see us perform on the show. So we really were able to like insert ourselves in history. It was also a really exciting time for medicine because it was, you know, you'll see on the show the introduction of ether and carbolic acid. Um, so mm. you know, abdominal surgeries were possible for the first time. So it really did change the game. Um, and yeah, so kind of rewriting history a little bit and inserting Lady Bell and, and Dodger as this kind of like dynamic duo that revolutionized medicine um, yeah. was fun. Yeah, it was. It was when I was great. watching it, I was like, come on, Charlie. I was like, you pull through, mate. I know, <laughs> sweet Charlie. Yeah, yeah I know, little Charlie it. boy. <laughs> hey, yeah, um, but I think, I think that's fun about Dodger and Bell too is because they are kind of polar opposites, but they have, you know, the same kind of shared passion for the greater good and for healing people. Um, same values. They just same values, but they're just mm. from total different worlds and um, approach it in a very different way. <laughs> very much so. Um, were n- now that you you know you've been spending a bit of time at home, uh, you got to shoot this. You obviously welcomed you know some amazing international cast members and some local ones as well. I saw on Instagram you you posted your rap party. Were there a lot of Australianisms or Aussieisms that you got to kind of like share with those guests in our country? And did you happen to celebrate the end of filming with a tattoo at all? Because I know you're a tattoo girl and so am I. I'm very interested to know if if that's something that happened. I almost did go and get a little bell um, on my wrist. I was very close, um, but then it didn't happen and then I had to leave the country. Um, So, no, I did not get a tattoo, but I think I will get a bell tattoo at some point. but uh, yeah, I think I took Thomas bush walking. Like we went out into the bush, uh, a few of us um, before he left. Cause I was like, you cannot leave Australia without jumping in a Creek. Uh, so we did a bit of bush bashing. Um, I was actually admittedly just British the whole time. <laughs> because I had to, <laughs> you were. You know, Which is going to be so accent. confusing for your fans because they're going to be like, I'm sure a lot of them are like, whoa, you're Australian. And then they're going to be like, but wait, you're an Australian playing a British woman in this, yeah. in this series. <laughs> yeah. A full identity crisis. No. Uh, yeah. Most people think I'm American. And then a lot of the crew, I think thought I was British on this, um, you know, crew that I wasn't, you know, hadn't, I didn't have much to do with every day, but no, I, I pretty much have to stick in the accent all day. Otherwise it's no good. It's no bueno. So you, um, it place. was fine. I'd be all over the place. So for, yeah, for six months, I was just like the most posh. <laughs> and it would be so <laughs> awkward. I'd be like in an Uber and they'd be like, so where in England are you from? And I'd be like, <laughs> oh, I don't know. You'd be like, this is a great way to test my acting skills and see if you buy my accent. Um, no, finally, before we wrap lie, up. So I just- yeah before we wrap up um I kind of wanted to I don't know I guess draw your attention to um the similarities between you and Belle she was very much a trailblazer in in you know in this uh, in this uh series and and that you talked about but you you yourself also have to understand that as a young Australian woman who is really carving out a career I mean you are kind of doing something very similar in your life you know being someone who is so successful in what you do and a lot of young women will be looking up to you and thinking that you know if if you you know Maya from from Lismore can go and just absolutely kill it on the international stage then they'll be inspired to do the same thing does that ever cross your mind um I think I feel the responsibility of it um for sure um I'm very proud to be from a small town um and uh you know, I think for anyone listening, if you are from somewhere rural or from a smaller town or, you know, no matter your circumstances, you can make it happen, um, whatever that might mean. But um, no, I, I don't I don't think about it often. It's not kind of on my mind <laughs> all the time. It's kind of it's bizarre to me that, you know, like we film these shows and for us, it's all about the experience of being on set and doing it and then you're done and then you kind of forget that it's going to come out and people are going to watch it 
Um, and then you will it's like this fun surprise, like this whole week is so wild. Cause I'm like, oh my God, people are actually going to see this thing that we did. Like in our minds, it's just this experience that we all have together. Um, but yeah, I think I, w- I, I don't know if you can compare me to Lady Bell. I'm not, I'm not, a, I'm not saving any lives. <laughs> she's, uh, she's changing medicine forever. So, um, and she's a lot braver than I am. She's, I think she's a lot more gutsy and, yeah. um, probably a little more like entitled. She can be a bit like okay. haughty, you know? Well, well, we are <laughs> super, super proud of you. And I really appreciate yeah. your time today. I know it's been a long day, um, but wonderful to chat to you. And I can't wait for people to see this show. So thank you so much. Thank you. So nice to talk to you.